So today we're going to talk about vitamin B6, okay? Vitamin B6 is a cofactor. It's a helper nutrient in so many different uh, chemistries of the body. Um, I'm just going to talk about the main ones right here. There are seven different forms of vitamin B6. The active form of vitamin B6 is called pyridoxal 5-phosphate. You usually see it on a vitamin label as P5P. Now, what does B6 actually do? Well, it's involved in making neurotransmitters like GABA, dopamine, adrenaline. Um, so it affects your mood. So if you're deficient, you're going to have anxiety, depression, and you might be moody. You might have this thing called PMS. I mean, not you, but you probably know people who do. It can affect your focus, your attention, as in ADD. In order to make B6 work, you also need vitamin B2 and zinc, okay, which is a trace mineral. Several things that cause a deficiency of B6 would be diabetes or blood sugar problems in general, like let's say you're a pre-diabetic, or you have insulin resistance, which the majority of the population has. Liver damage or a fatty liver could affect the absorption. If you had a history of any colon problems, like uh, some type of um, inflammatory conditions that you end up having scar tissue in your gut, or let's say you have IBS or Crohn's, that could uh, affect your absorption. If you had gastric bypass surgery, that could affect your absorption. Or you're taking birth control pills, or you're taking steroids, like in cortisone shots, things like that, that can affect the absorption. But usually you're not gonna be deficient from the foods in your diet because it's in so many different foods. Uh, it's in chickpeas, um, pork, liver, tuna, salmon, other fish, eggs, beef, and it's in a lot of vegetables. So chances are your deficiency could be coming from these other things right here. Now, if you're deficient, uh, the classical uh, symptom would be dermatitis. Other symptoms, anxiety, depression, like I said, red irritated eyes, neuropathy, which is a destruction of the myelin sheath, which B6 is involved in. You also have vitamin B12 and B1 as well. Impaired glucose tolerance, so you're going to have blood sugar issues if you're deficient in B6. B6 deficiency is also involved in edema and swelling, especially when you're pregnant, as well as carpal tunnel syndrome. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. So you know my viewpoint on this topic. I want to know your viewpoint. What do you think about this video? Go ahead and comment down below.